Hey guys, everything IP Zero D Touch back again here with another video. I know that this is going to be in the video that you're about to watch, but I just wanted to say that I'm sorry that this video was really rushed, and I hope that you guys don't bash me about it. Please, if you guys want to go see it in better quality, well, maybe not better quality, but better descriptive and all that, uh, I really suggest you guys to check out my website. It has all the updates. It's everything IP Zero D Touch Tech dot office live dot com and uh yeah go check it out guys it's better than this video <laughs> Hey everyone, it's everything IP is already touched. Today I'm going to be telling you how to make an app icon if you want to redo all the apps on your iPod. Um, app icons, you can do it on Photoshop. Um, search up how to get Photoshop CS4 for free and you'll find a video. You have to do some stuff. And uh, just get the trial and it's free and then you have it forever and it's just a nice tool to have. Um, I made like 50 of these icons and this is like the 30th take so I'm a little tired guys I've been doing this since like 11 o'clock and it's 2.37 a.m. right now so if you want to see a detailed version go to my website link in the description um, file open a new document make it 300 pixels by 300 pixels and it's gonna be your background make it black press alt to backspace make a new layer name it whatever you want this is just going to be kind of like the wow layer um, get your light and dark of one color or if you want multiple colors that's totally cool um, this is going to be your gradient click on the gradient make sure it's this um, foreground to background and press shift and drag straight down and then it's like that and it looks cool <laughs> Then go into um, filter, distort, wave, uh, type in the stats that I have here. Number of generators 15, wavelength 5 and 35, amplitude 10 and 50, scales 170, type triangle, undefined areas, repeat edge pixels. Press OK. You got a kind of a cool little thing there. Not good enough. Go to filter, go to distort, go to polar coordinates, and then press OK. Then go to filter, go to sharpen, and then go to unsharp mask, then press 70, 45, and 0. Click OK. Looks better. Um, so, once you're done with that, uh, you guys are going to click on the rounded rectangle tool. Um, and shift. You don't have to be perfectly in the center, just make it whatever size you want and um, okay and get this make it perfectly in the center now okay that seems to be good bring your layer one above that press control click the shape right here and press like the little Japanese flag looking thing um, then go into then press this again this is going to be making the highlight. Make your get your elliptical marquee tool. Uh, make sure that that's selected like that. Press Shift Alt and drag and make it about a little above half thing. Then make your foreground color white. Gradient. Okay. Make sure that that's white. Um, start a little above the document, press shift, bring down a little below. Oh yeah, you need to make the new highlight layer. Okay, then do that. Oh my god, man, I hate Photoshop. Okay, there you go. So that looks pretty good. But, make it a little less extreme. Go to opacity and go to about 77-ish 
deselect and that looks nice. Uh, to get to that menu you just pretty much double click on that blank area right there. Okay, so now that you're done with that you're gonna make the actual circle. If you don't want to make a circle that's totally fine with you. Just go to whatever you want. Uh, press shift to make a perfect whatever you want. Okay, and center that. Click on that. You bring up this layer style. Um, so then you're going to go to fill opacity to zero. Go to stroke, make that color white. Size. I'm going to make it 10. Go to inside. Okay. And that's good. So then that's that part of that. Oh yeah, you also need to do a couple other things here. Um, go to gradient overlay. Wait, no, never mind. Cancel. <laughs> uh, go to bevel and emboss. Go to emboss down, and then soften. I like to go all the way to 16 pixels, and then size maxed out, and then or like depth maxed out, and then size low and it kinda gives the impression that someone's pressing that part of the icon which I think is kinda cool um... so then you know if you want to add some text uh... if you're gonna do four to five letters I suggest doing twenty four or thirty on the text size um... if you're one of the seventy people that PM'd me or whatever um... about how to make the icon you know the text thing uh, make it whatever color you want. Okay. Get this thing, drag it into the center. Okay. And that's really it, guys. It's pretty simple. If you have Photoshop and some little basic knowledge on Photoshop. I searched around on Google for a couple hours and I find a video on how to make these. It said for iPhone developers only, but whatever. So, this is how you make an icon, guys. This has been everything IP0 Touch. Also, if you want to use this for like your YouTube thing, go to Save As and make it JPEG. Alright, guys. That's everything. I hope you guys benefit from this video. Again, check out this video uh, more detailed at everythingipzerotouch.tech.officelive.com. Peace.